Tomorrow is Holocaust Remembrance Day, a time to remember the six million Jewish victims of the Holocaust and the millions of other victims of Nazi persecution. Elizabeth Bullock and her sister faced these atrocities. They went into hiding in Poland when the Nazis rose to power. Elizabeth escaped, but her sister did not. Hmm. Elizabeth joins us now along with Dana Arshin, the granddaughter of an Auschwitz concentration camp survivor. She's now with the Holocaust Memorial and Tolerance Center of Nassau County. Thank you guys so much for both of being here. Of course, both and of for you. all the viewers who might remember me, I spent six That's years right, here at yes. Fox 5, and I started my Holocaust series here at Fox 5. And you did such an incredible job with that. And, you're con and what's m most amazing is you're continuing it, and you brought the most incredible woman she with you, <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> um, I Thanks. interviewed her I for the, the first Polish time. Shirley Temple. Oh, That's amazing. I, I amazing. want, unfortunately, when you go back and look at October 7th, mm -hmm. There was this blowback. There was a rise in anti-Semitism. A lot of people were shocked by it. But, I mean, talk about your experience with the Holocaust and the memories of your sister. Well, unfortunately, my sister, who was six years older than I, yeah. uh, she was like a surrogate mother to me mm. because I was on the Soviet side with my grandparents. My mother was working on the German side. So she, we didn't see my mother, so my sister was like my mom. We went there for the summer, mm -hmm. you know, it was vacation time, 1939, and there we were. And the war came, and you know, we were stuck with my grandparents. My sister was younger, my grandparents mm -hmm. were a little older, so it was hard for me. Yeah. But I went to the Soviet school, we went for two years, so for the Jews it was not so bad. But after that, it was pretty bad when the Germans came. Yeah. So, of course, the Jews have no rights of any kind. Mm. We couldn't go to school, we couldn't do anything, and then after a while my grandfather paid off, so we stayed in our building, but then after that, we had to go to the ghetto. But, but mm -hmm. your sister didn't make it out of this, and you saw that firsthand? Oh, I was there all the time. Yeah. I was in Poland. But she and her mom were hiding separately, and actually you were hiding with nuns, right? Oh, in a that was, well, that's when the Germans came, then I had a very good girlfriend. Mm -hmm. She was Catholic, and her father was a very decent man, and had two sisters, also went to school with my sister. Mm -hmm. My sister, my grandma, has sent her to a, a specialist, and she wrote sixty poems wow. in this book. She had. Mm. She was tremendous uh, artist and tremendous writer, and she was going to go to France. She writes. She wanted such life. Wow. My mother. And this never, is your sister's diary. My sister. They wow. call us a Polish. And Frank. Mm. Yeah. Oh my so gosh. my sister was very good to me, and we went to Soviet school. And then what happened was, when the Germans came, my sister had a boyfriend. Oh, she was charming. <laughs> he went to five camps, but he had green eyes, curly dark hair. It was so, adorable. So many stories to tell. Um, you know, before we go here, Dana, just really quickly, um, talk a little bit about what this day means. Of course, so there are two Holocaust Remembrance Days throughout the year, so I know it might get confusing for some people. Mm. This one is International Holocaust Remembrance Day. It's tomorrow, Saturday, January 27th, and it marks the 79th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz, mm. which is extra your personal your, and your to me. Grandfather. My grandfather, my yeah. poppy, just passed away a few weeks ago at the I'm end sorry. of December. Sorry Thank you. That. And I do this work because of him. He's my inspiration in every way. I've interviewed 50 survivors approximately in it's the past year, while. including Elizabeth. I interview <laughs> one or two almost every single week. And I can't thank Fox for giving me this platform that really yeah. started this for me. But I always say this, that not only are we among the last generation of survivors, but we are the last generation to hear these first-hand yeah, accounts. Yeah. Uh, there are approximately 14,000 survivors right here in New York, which wow. might sound like a lot. It's not comparatively to what it used to be, 
there are 14,000 here, so go meet them and hear their stories, and, and that's what I'm trying to do. You're preserving this, absolutely. What's one thing that you take away from interviewing all these survivors? This is an incredible, incredibly horrific thing that they've gone through, but one thing that you take away from interviewing each one of them, including Elizabeth? Uh, well, I say this all the time, is you can interview 10 Auschwitz survivors or 10 children in hiding, and every story is so different. My jaw drops every time. I just interviewed a survivor two days ago who had uh, two tattoos, one on each hand, and I had never seen that before. Wow. I had never seen someone have tattoos from multiple camps on two different hands. Wow. So um, just is that every story is so unique and so yeah. different. And I'm not just saying this because I'm here with her today. She's the first story where I, during the interview I actually cried mm. because she showed me the original diary, the papers, wow. and you could see this, the ink and the handwriting. 600 pages yeah. handwritten. And where can people find this? this where, and where can people through. sign up to kind of help and get more information about what you're doing? You know, that diary of my sister was in the vault. My mother could never read it, mm. but my daughter. Alexandra was interested what was in it, but mm -hmm. it's in Polish. Yeah. So she had somebody to translate, and she said it was a very important document yeah. because, you know, told about the German. Yeah. My, we survived because my mother was in Warsaw, mm -hmm. and she was assistant. She went to University of Vienna. She was well-educated. Her German was excellent. We had false papers, and we lived with the German officers because my, my mother gosh. did it was a five-star hotel hotel yeah. Ropeski it's still there when we went they gave us the greatest open. we need to we need to have I your I office day so we can come you. meet with your story. Story. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where can great. people buy this can, book that's how we survive I, I think it's sold on Amazon but you yeah. know what yes. I'll, it is we'll it's on Amazon it's, it's called Renya's Diary R-E-N-I-A apostrophe S Diary um, also, you can see everything I'm doing. I work for the Holocaust Memorial and Tolerance Center, as you mentioned. We call ourselves HMTC. Mm -hmm. We're on Long Island. And if you go to HMTCLI.org, you can see everything about us. There you yeah. go. We so have to leave this conversation here. Thank you so much, Thank Dana. You for having been Thank coming you in. so much for Thank having you. us. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. So yeah. nice to reunite with my Fox 5 Absolutely. family. Absolutely. <laughs> we miss you. We miss you, Dana. All right. Now